champions never picked in the LCK. That stat will continue. A draft that was screaming for an Ezreal gets one, but on the side of a freak of freaks. Yeah, the draft is taken, I believe. Bono should be able to make his way over. Chains, are they going to land Yukal? Yes, has to flash, but can't take the claw. And the flash in from Bono. Picks up first blood. It is Olaf again. The mid lane's been anything but 50-50. Well, Bono's going to predator forward. Yukal gets hit by the first one as in goes Dread. Lava trying to find more. Bono going to be the Got first him. one to go down. Can we get the distortion damage? Dread going to fall. So it is a one for one in the end. And Yukal going to have control of this gonna lane see up. It up and close very soon because we're looking for a turret dive. Yep, World Ender going to come in. Tal just going to try and tank up this turret for as long as possible. And there it is. WR, and then you're dead. And then the World Ender is going to be proc'd. So Dread that might be overextended. Yep, the Lick is not going to land there, and Dread is able to steal that one away. Is There's the flash forward from Key. Really wants to get into this fight. As there it is! Killer Instinct comes in! And the Catfish picks that up the trade, kill. It's Tal that's able to offer something in here for the extra damage. An Infernal Drake going down as Dragon Spin's number one. going to find a LeBlanc. There's another World Ender. The Umbral Dash is going to oh. get him out of the way of the gravity field as Keen's trying to use that extra movement speed, but it just doesn't matter. Presses W in his general... Yeah, they're not 100%. The oh, same in that uh, way no, as bot lane. The same as uh, Proud is going to jump forward. Devour is going to be used to try and keep Sungin alive, but it ain't going to work. Dread just explodes him. The catfish going to fall down afterwards, and a freak of freaks find the kill on the back of their rookie. Their proactive play gets them the infernal as well. They'll get a charge in this mid lane though, and Hummer Life Esports are going to answer with first turret in the mid lane. First infernal over for a freak of freaks, but Hummer Life already have one of those in the bank. It's not going to answer the gold too much, and it looks like Shelly is. It does mean that Ezreal fully disengages from the turret, and they take it down. So, how will I get a second turret, Atlas? And that's much Global more. Global objectives going down one for one. This will be Afrika's first turret of the game. And the bottom side, the Infernals are also that even close. That's where your two item spike is, is stronger. Speaking of two item spike 80 carries, Amy has to run. And there's a lot of gap close coming. Yeah, Abyssal Voyage, but that's right into the quickness. A lot of damage now, but Sangyun keeps himself alive with the Killer Instinct. And that is more kills coming in for Lava. Lands the Mimic Chains onto Aiming, but he's not going to survive for that long. As Lava jumps on top of him, Keen finds himself on the wrong side of the rift as Tal is chasing. Sangyun's hunting for Victor. Wow, I thought that would have... That would have hit. That sort of like feels like the visual bug should have been there, but Sangin still going to be awarded the kill. Being in this particular position because Lava honestly yeah. felt like he was standing. Incl I know what you're trying to say, but yeah. just the starting position for Bono. Yeah, I know. Bono and Tal. And they've still been playing around Sangin. In their first series, it was Tal. the reason why I was so zoomed in on, all right, you, Cal and Dredd, you need to outplay the 2v2 mid jungle. Hold the point as Keen's getting collapsed on again. Yeah, he ain't going to be out playing this one, I don't think. Does have himself the Chaos Storm, but that is not enough Chaos. And even the buffed up True Shot Barrage will not deter them from taking down this turret. Again, the reason why I, w I needed a Freak of Freaks to get a meaningful lead early to mid is how do they... The Aatrox is just getting so much help to shut down Keen on the side lane. They don't have initiation outside of Rakan, but they have nothing to follow up on with that. Victor and Rakan could not alive in the hugs just yet. No, nope, but Keen, he might, oh. because he is almost dead. Sangyun, if he didn't want to take down that turret, could have used part because he had the ring, and now he's got the book. I don't know, I feel like that's going backwards. So I confused myself, I'm not going to lie. Prestige. Prestige in League of Legends is different to Call of Duty. Wait, I thought you were like Tal. Oh, speaking of Tal. Yep, he's going to dive into the back line, wants to use that World Ender for the speed, and does so. Aiming has to flash to get the hell out of there, but oh. Lava says that you're dead. And he is! The kill's going to go over to Tal's, prestiging once again as Sangyun dives into the back line. Yuka wonders what the hell went wrong, and I'll, I'll give you the list, mate. Hey, Aatrox, who spent the entire game whacking away on turrets and getting ganks for him. He returns the favor. Goodbye, Baron. It's even Tal's. Hope starts, and the, sie sp the Siege split push does as well. And what we've been talking about on when we talk about a Freak of Freaks being strong is I might need to hold this thought for a moment. Key, Devour now on cooldown, flashes immediately after spitting Sangyun out. He has to flash now as well, Grand Entrance on top of the Catfish, and he's being given up for the Ghost as the rest of the map is being torn to shreds. Keen wondering where the hell his team has gone. Well, he knows the Kench may be benched, but everybody else taking turrets, taking inhibitors, two inhibitors down. One to defend in mid. Oh, Tal is just moving so damn fast. Tries to jump on top of Yukal, doesn't get any of the knockups. But they take down two inhibitors, and that is job done. Key the sacrificial lamb. He's not a lamb, he's, a, he's catfish, but still able to make the sacrifice for his team. Look, 
mixing our metaphors is one of our big things here on the LCK stream <laughs> Atlas. True. You know that very, and I, very I well. And I butchered the Lord of the Rings one, so I feel like we can just uh, go ham at this point. Well, Freak of Freaks in danger of butchering this series. Zero two is about as butchered as it comes. Yep. Fnatic managed better, but we won't talk about that. Yeah, let's not talk about that one. And well, IFE Sports Managing pushing through zero mid. two in a best of one scenario is really impressive. Now, another level. Yeah, I'm very proud. And well, IFE Sports, they just want to take the third inhibitor, and then the minions will do the rest. This one's going to go down tall. Once again, looking for that sweet play, but doing it with uh, full vision available. Yukal going for the last desperation play. It didn't work out for King Zone. Can it work out now for Hanwell Life? No! The first kill going to go over. Dread is going to fall down, but now Lava has all those pages torn out of his book. He's upset about that, but the rest of his team there for revenge. The knockups are now landing for Tal. Chaos Storm comes in. World Ender should keep Tal alive, but it doesn't even need to because the Nexus has been taken down and Humble Life Esports get the 2-0 over Afrika Freaks. The hopes are no longer alive for Afrika Freaks ending week one of the LCK with a single match win, and we get it confirmed that all those names count for so little in LCK Spring 2019. Afrika Freaks, no match wins, no game wins, no game wins to King Zone, no game wins to Gen G. A single game win to KG Rolster is the only game win for one of these famous old organizations. How will life are feeling good?